The Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras is an annual parade and festival for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered community in Sydney, Australia, and is one of the largest events of its type in the world. Despite its name, it is not held on Mardi Gras, Shrove Tuesday, or indeed on a Tuesday at all. It all began on June the 24th in 1978 as a protest march in commemoration of the Stonewall Riots in the United States. Although the organisers had been granted permission, this was revoked and the march was broken up by police. Many of those marching were arrested. Although most charges were eventually dropped, the Sydney Morning Herald published the names of those arrested in full, leading to many people being outed to their friends and employers. Many of those arrested lost their jobs, as homosexuality was still a crime in New South Wales until 1984. The event was held the following year in 1979, with the name being changed to the Sydney Gay Mardi Gras. In 1980, the first post-parade dance party was introduced, and in 1981, the parade was shifted to February. An increasingly large number of people not only participated in the event, but large numbers of the wider community turned out to watch the parade. In 1988, the parade was renamed the Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. The Mardi Gras festival begins in early February, with the parade taking place on the first Saturday in March. The parade has always kept its political edge. As homosexuality became more and more accepted in the wider community, more gay representatives of community groups and organisations have taken part in the parade, including the police force. The parade features a number of costumed characters that return for many successive years. Dykes on Bikes and Miss New Zealand are perfect examples of regular crowd favourites. But it's not all been plain sailing as Mardi Gras has continued to attract political opposition from various mainly conservative Christian sources. Each year the event is held, Fred Nile, a member of the New South Wales Legislative Council and a former minister of the Uniting Church in Australia, leads this opposition with a prayer for rain on the event. The march is often attended by conservative Christian activists bearing signs with messages such as Jesus still loves you. Political support has come from a number of local and federal politicians, such as Senators Natasha Stockton Spoyer and Penny Wong, as well as Sydney Lord Mayor Clover Moore. The parade travels along most of Oxford Street, which is closed to traffic. The crowds appear as early as midday on the day of the parade, and by 8pm crowds can be several people deep. Though it has rained on several Mardi Gras parades, this has never stopped the parade. February really is Mardi Gras time in Sydney. The festival runs from early February to early March. Normally, the launch is held at the Sydney Opera House. The festival's live entertainment includes cabaret, comedy, music and theatre. The Mardi Gras Film Festival showcases gay and lesbian films. There are many literature and arts events too, including forums and conferences to attend between the many social activities. Fair Day, which is held mid-festival at Victoria Park, is a daytime event attended by 65,000 people. The following weekend, the same park hosts the pool party. It commences just before sunset and there is non-stop entertainment for a thousand lycra-clad guests. The parade itself ends with a huge dance party featuring world-famous DJs such as Frankie Knuckles, Wayne G and Boy George.